Hey guys, we are back with some more New Jersey Devils franchise mode. And last time we went through the off season, and this time we are going to get the year four regular season underway. But just before we do that, I'll show you guys the lines. And uh, I think we look pretty solid, especially at forward. We got Taylor Hall, Nolan Patrick, Kyle Palmieri on the first line. Uh, that's pretty. That's looking pretty nice. Second line, we got Balsers, Zaka, Spears. And then third line, Henrique. Joe Valeno is on the roster this year, boys. And Denis Gurianov. And then fourth line, Miles Wood. Michael McLeod is on the roster as well. And John Quenville. And then on defense, we have Rasmus Dahlin alongside Damon Severson, Zaboral and Juleson, and Santini and Liljegren. So uh, a little bit, um, we took a little bit of a hit on defense, um, but that is only so that we can get Dahlin and Liljegren ready faster so that we can be competitive next year. And special teams wise, we got Balsters, Patrick Hall, Paul Mary, and Dahlin. And then Henrik, Valeno, Gurianov, Juleson, and Zaboral on the power play. Uh, that is looking a lot, uh, uh, very, that's looking very scary right there. Uh, Four-man power play like that. Penalty kill, McLeod and Wood, Santini and Liljegren, Henrik and Zaka, and then Zaboral and Juleson. And uh, I want to, what I want to do with Dolan and Liljegren, I want to flip them between the power play and the penalty kill. Once we get halfway through the season, I'm going to put Liljegren on the power play and Dolan on the penalty kill just so that they can both get experience in both areas of the special teams. And then here's the three-man penalty kill extras. We got Patrick and Hall, Dolan and Severson, and then Henrik and Balsers, Juleson and Zaboral. And uh, Zaboral's got to be on the left there. And Santini and Liljegren alongside of Paul Mary and Valeno. And then three on three is Patrick, Henrique, Valeno down the middle. And then on defense is the same as five on five. And then extra attackers are Hall and Valeno. Shootout is Hall, Balsers, Patrick, Palmieri, Henrique. Goaltenders, Blackwood, and Christian Prop is going to be the backup this year, boys. And scratched, we have Merrill, Rachavina, and Vavalainen. So as you can imagine, we are going to be trading John Merrill and Rachavina. Because if you take a look at Merrill here, he does not like Balsers apparently. And uh, Balsers is a key player for us. So, And plus, someone had to take the hit when it comes to defense. Because we got to get Dolan in there. We got to get Liljegren in there. And we have to keep our young guns in there. So it had to be Merrill who is on the way out. And as for Rachavina and Vevelainen, I want to trade Rachavina now. While he still has his 85 overall. Because <laughs> uh, if you guys saw what happened to Scott Wedgwood. He, uh, <laughs> well, he dropped to a 79 once again. And he's on a $4 million deal for the next year. So I, <laughs> that is, uh, I don't want that happening to Rachavina as well. So I'll just trade him while his value is up there. Along with Merrill. And I don't know what I want to do with Vevelainen yet. He's listed as a backup. I guess maybe we'll rotate him and prop throughout the season. So there you have it. There is our NHL roster. I'll go show you guys the AHL real quick. First line, we got Nason, Bastion, and Cole Lind. Second line, we got Langan, Stenland, and Lappin. Third line, we got Jeffrey Olsen and Blandizi. Fourth line, we got Setaguchi, Mahavlich, and Jones on defense. We have Sissons and Jacobs, and then Salmelanen and Ekblad are playing this year. And then Colton White and Nico McCullough. And then in goal, we have Velalta and Wedgwood playing currently. And then uh, here's all the scratch guys. And uh, yeah, everything is looking good. Now, hopefully, by putting Dolan with Severson, my hope for that is that Dolan can grow much faster than he would originally down there in the minors. Same thing with Lilia Gren. I won't imagine he'll grow as fast as Dolan, but hopefully he still grows the same way that Juleson and Zaboral did last year. So I guess with that, we will, uh, well, first of all, we got to trade Merrill and Rachavina. So we'll do that right now. I have a trade in mind already. Uh, yeah, I'll do the scouting after. We're going to be trading Merrill and Rachavina to Buffalo. 
so let's get them on there. Meryl. And Rachavina. And we're actually going to be retaining half of Meryl's salary. Blah, 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 <laughs> salary. Because, well, Meryl's contract is only one year. And we're not going to have cap problems for one year. So, you know, I figured, why not? It adds to our value as well, right? And, uh, or the value that we're giving up. So we're going to be taking a first and a second back for Merrill and Rachavina. Because we're not using Merrill and we're not using Rachavina. Like, I don't want Rachavina's value to drop like it did with Wedgwood. And Merrill just doesn't have a spot on our team anymore. So there you go. We got a couple of picks for some leftover players there. We also freed up a couple of contract spots. Now let's do the scouting. And we'll go for defenseman, I guess, this year. We'll start in Canada. There you go. Six weeks. And I think we can get the season underway. I'll just show you guys the captains and uh, numbers and everything. Captains and jerseys. So Adam Henrique is the captain. And Hall and Paul Mary are the alternates. And then we got Zaka, McLeod, Patrick, Valeno, Wood, Balsers, Gurianov, Quenville, Spears, Severson, Juleson, Dolan, Santini, Zaboral, Lilligren, Vevelina, Prop, and Blackwood. So there are your year four New Jersey Devils, at least the starting roster. So let's get this season underway now. And, uh, yeah, we'll... We'll simulate preseason. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Do I want to play a preseason game here? Yeah, you know what? I think we can, uh, we can at least play a third period. Because I do want to get some simulating done. So I'm not going to play a full game. But I will play a third period. And uh, let's just see if there's anything else we need. Uh, oh, you know what? For this game, I want to have Christian Prop in the net. Just so... We can have his uh, inaugural game here in the preseason. So there you go. Putting prop in there. And everything looks good. All right. So, uh, as I said, not going to play the whole game. But I just want to see what this team looks like out there on the ice. So let's go simulate the game against the New York Islanders. First period, Adam Henrik on Yaroslav Halak. Second period. Oh, boys, we got a four-goal lead. Zaboral, Spears, and Balsers. Let's go, boys. All right. In the third period here against the New York Islanders, we have a four-goal lead, and Nolan Patrick is out there right now. So, uh, as we lose the face off of him. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Rasmus Dahlin and Damon Severson there. And there's Prop making the first save of the third period. As Hall gets that up to Patrick. Patrick gets down the wing. He's around. Gets it around the boards. Ho hoping to find Severson, but finds Lee instead. As Dahlen playing some defense here. Over to Dahan. Dahan over to Stuckel. Stuckel, however you pronounce that. Uh, Severson. He's getting around. Over to Patrick. Defense going for a change. Patrick. He's looking for space. He can't find it, unfortunately. Juleson and Zaboro are out there now. Balsers. The second line's out there as well. Oh, jeez. Patrick. Keep losing the puck. Uh, oh, come on. Pellick takes the shot, and Prop makes the save as Juleson. Geiser takes the shot, and Juleson tries to get it out of here and does. Gets it to Balsers. Balsers speeding down the wing. Gets it around the boards. Looking for Spears, but can't find him. He uh, sent that pass a little too, uh, a little too strong there. As Prop makes a save there. Palak over to uh, Ver Verhage. Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not even, I'm not even pretend like I know. And uh, as Zaka gets that around the boards for... Oh, come on. Uh, that's not even my fault. That was just... Yeah, yeah. You guys you guys know the, the half turns of this game. All right, Balsers. Balsers around the boards. Finds... Is that uh, Valeno? Yeah, that's Valeno. 
And Santini gets that to Liljegren with his first shift. Liljegren with the shot. Kapitanov. Oh, Pelik. Back to Kapitanov. Third line trying to get out there now. Santini. Four checking. Oh, oh, oh. Nice save by Prop. And it appears New York's making a goaltending change there. I just heard on the announcements. Santini over to Gurianov. Gurianov, he's getting around. He's going around the boards for Valeno. Valeno finds Liljegren. Liljegren fakes, uh, but wasn't the greatest decision. Kapitanov was right there. And he gets it over. And Henrique recovers that as the fourth line gets out there. And Henrique tries to send it for Quenville, but he fans on it. Quenville down to Henrique. And he tries to find McLeod open in the slot, but couldn't get the puck to him. As Dolan has some nice pokes there. Gets it up to Quenville. Quenville is around. Dangling. Back to oh, Dolan. You got to pick that up. Uh, all right. Severson. Come on, Severson. Come on, Severson. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> and Captain off with the backhander. McLeod. Oh, he deflects it out. Oh, McLeod. 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 Finish it. Yeah, there you go. Michael McLeod. Very nice. And we have a five-goal lead. Let's see that again, actually. That's a nice breakaway. Off of a, off of a redirect in the defensive zone. And it doesn't show the redirect in the defensive zone, of course, but, I mean, there you go. Michael M McLeod with a goal. Unassisted as well. Dolan with the hit on the Islanders player right there. And uh, Severson can't pick up that puck. Prop with the glove save. Hopefully we'll be saying that for years to come. And uh, Quenville with eight seconds left. Going in. Quenville's around. Takes that shot. Short side on McAdam. And the Devils win five to nothing. Very nice. All right. So let's get back to the simulation and get the year four season underway all right we are back here in the menu and we will get the rest of the preseason done and into the regular season we go all right boys we are here and uh at the start of the regular season i just skipped past preseason there we were i believe four and three yeah four and three so uh here we go start of year number four blackwood is back in there so, uh, actually, before I do that, <laughs> I got to make sure I turn auto-rotate goalies on so that prop gets some playing time. Rules. And let's see. Yep, it was off. So, <laughs> good thing I thought of that. As uh, we get into the year four regular season now, let's go. Simulation underway. Game against Pittsburgh with the overtime loss. All right, so we got a point out of it. Not bad. 5-2 to two win against Nashville. 4-2 to two win against Tampa. All right, we're looking good. We're looking good so far. Haven't lost in regulation yet. There we go. 7-1 to one win against Washington. That's what I like to see. And uh, scout. Yep. Got to do that. Uh, no, I want to go to the O. For six weeks. There we go. Vancouver, got a nice uh, trip in Canada here as we suffer the overtime loss against Vancouver and a 4-2 win against Calgary. And then uh, looks like our only regulation loss of the season so far has come against San Jose. So, uh... Not too bad to start out the season. Let's check out the stats real quick. 
Stat Central. We are currently second in the division. And uh, Kyle Palmieri leading the charge with eight points. Let's see. Uh, Henrique with seven. Hall with seven. Gurianov six. Woods six. Quenville six. Valeno six. Patrick six. We're getting a lot of depth goal scoring here. That's good. Balsers with five. Spears with five. Zaka with five. Lilligren with four. Severson with three. McLeod. Dahlin with two. Zaboral. Juleson with one. And Santini. Nothing. But that's all right. And uh, as we check out goaltenders here. Uh, Mackenzie Blackwood getting it done. 1.98 goals against and save percentage of 9.33. And no shoutouts as of yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Very nicely done. And Pratt, he's getting it done as well uh, in the two games he's played. He uh, appears to have only been starting one game and then was in relief the other game, but he's let in five goals in two games. So. So that is not bad at all for him. And I uh, don't know why I was selecting another team there. Let's uh, get on with the simulation. Uh, but not before we check the team stats. So goals for per game. We are up there. 3.33. Pretty nice there. Goals against per game. 2.22. I mean, <laughs> we're good. We're good this year, boys. Uh, power play 21.2 that is i mean literally a half percentage away from first so not gonna complain there penalty kill a hundred percent in the month of october <laughs> that is crazy as we start the simulation in november here we go boys <laughs> we'll do this one more month here for this simulation or for this video let's go game against tampa then Arizona, and then Minnesota, and then New York. Let's see. So, 3-1 loss versus Tampa versus Arizona. What do we have? Another loss. Oh, come on, boys. Don't do this. <laughs> Minnesota, New York. <sighs> Another loss. Come on now, boys. Ooh, shootout loss. I mean, at least we got a point there, but still. Still continuing our losing streak. There we go. Break it up with a solid win against the New York Rangers. And then 2-1 to one win against Columbus. That's what I like to see. Can we keep it going against Ottawa? No, we can't. We lose 5-4. to four. Come on, boys. Ah, 4-2 to two loss. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're still that tweener team. We're still that tweener team because of our defensive core. <laughs> Same story as usual. Yeah, 3-2 to two loss against Colorado. Yeah. Yeah, we knew that perfect month wasn't going to uh, <laughs> carry over. Again, just because of our team. You know, still young, still developing. It's a solid win right there against Pittsburgh. And against Buffalo. We have... A 3 nothing win. Very nice. So we're 10-8-4 to start out the season. Locker room chemistry of 85. That's great. That's great. As we take a look at the player stats here, Kyle Palmieri leading the charge once again. 20 points. Patrick and Hall with 17 or 19 points each. Henrique Balsas Gurianov all with 14. Valeno with 12. Spears with 11. Zaka and Wood with 10. Quenville with 9. Lilligren 7. Uh, Severson with 6. McLeod with four, Dolan with four, Zaboro and Juleson with three, and then Santini still sitting there at zero. <laughs> but uh, as we check out goaltenders here, I would imagine Blackwood dropped off a little bit. Uh, ooh, prop, prop. <laughs> I think uh, I think prop still needs some seasoning a little bit in the minors, boys. Or at least needs to sit for a little bit just because, yeah, that's not great right there. 3.56 and save percentage of 8.96, yeah. Yeah, I'll throw Vevelanen in there for December, but we'll leave Blackwood in there. Blackwood, he's been doing all right, but I, w I would imagine Prop, yeah, Prop might need a little bit of time in the AHL, boys. I mean, you let me know about that in the comments, but because uh, I think we're going to stop the simulation here, but uh, again, I think he would benefit from some time in the AHL. As uh, goals for per game, we are three per game, very nice. Goals against per game, yeah, that's gone down a little bit. 
I mean, we're still second in the division, but I'd like that number to be lower. <laughs> like somewhere in between where Columbus and we are right now. So maybe around like 2.3. That'd be nice. Uh, penalty or uh, power play. I mean, we're 19, uh, we're 19.7%. So not going to complain there. Penalty kill 81.4. I mean, that's not bad with third. Um, Yeah. So had a pretty rough November. But what I think I'll do right now. Well, first of all, I want to um, place Dolan and Lilyren on the power play and penalty kill. So we'll switch them off right here. There you go, Lilligren, and instead of Dol or uh, yeah, yeah, we'll put Lilligren there as well, and then instead of Lilligren right here, we'll put Dolan, because again, I want to sort of cross train them to be as complete of defensemen as they can be. So there you go, Dolan on the penalty kill, and we will switch out prop with Vevelanen. There you go. So again, you guys let me know on if we should send Prop down to the minors for a little bit longer to season him. I think we should. I think it's a good idea just for now, like just for a month or so. Just so he can get his confidence back and so that we can get our team record back on track. So again, if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one.